but let's look at a couple different angles on on the spirit and how it functions as we draw clues from both the sciences and, and different cultural traditions. And what do human beings say about how does consciousness develop? What, is, what, what can we hypothesize that you know, is, is at least the beginnings of a theory of how consciousness functions on the level of, say, physics or chemistry or biology? These are important questions. And, and the, the theory needs to be coherent. It needs to, to be explanatory on all those levels. Now, even if, if the, the image of the mechanism turns out to be incorrect, if the model functions, it's a useful clinical mo model. As I was saying previously, the, uh, the model that's used in, in cardiology for, for blood flow misses 50% of the actual blood flow to an optimally functioning area. If, I, if we close our eyes and envision a, an area, a region in the body, or if we open up our focus and take in our peripheral awareness of the entire body simultaneously as an undifferentiated space, and allow ourselves to observe within that space if, if there are regions that define themselves, that come to mind as having some manner of distinction, a hard or soft edge to the change of that distinction, a, a color, a, a, a sensation, an emotion, an idea, an image. find that there are, there may be areas that identify in our imagery as, as not self, as it feels like that's that feeling in my gut, it doesn't feel like me, it feels like something else, somebody else. I model that 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 zone, that space, that space within the body, as like a like a, a, a picture of sphere, like uh, what occurs when the body forms a cyst around a parasite, for example. We know there's the formation of this spherical cyst within which energetically, uh, chemically, uh, immunologically, there's this space of identifying as not self that has this other biological entity and its chemistry and it's got its space, this little sphere, little bubble of space. Now that could be a biological parasite could be a toxin, an irritant, can form a wheel. Uh, it could be a spiritual entity of not-self, such as a biological or a non-biologically based. So That process of of identification, self not self, being perhaps the the first identification that our consciousness, our spirit makes, when 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 I'm a single cell, 
at conception, single cell in, in a fluid medium. The, there's, as soon as there's self, there's the space around, not self. I go to, to multiple cells and, and then form a sphere myself. And then, and then that, that sphere becomes hollow. Hollow sphere, just like a cyst. And then there's something that happens where I form a donut shape where there's now a digestive tract, what will be a digestive tract. Got to. Well, that's shape is the shape of of a vortex, uh, a toroidal field, like a magnetic field. So I'm modeling that as you know the 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 magnetic shape of the, the, uh, the magnetic vortex shape of even the first cell. How does that happen? When there's a movement of an electron energy, there's a magnetic field that's simultaneously created at 90 degrees at right angles to that. So there's, there's, a, there's a dimensionality of electrical and magnetic at that 90 degree separation. Um, so when when the, the egg cell is impregnated, there's a, there's a change in the cell membrane, an electrical chain, enough electricity to to fry the the cell membrane to to make it impenetrable. So it's closing the the pores, the channels, transmembrane protein channels that that connect the aqueous medium of not cell, the outside of the cell, versus the inside of the cell of self. There's a separation. There's an electrical discharge that tr starts at one point, spreads in a circle, and goes, completes at the opposite pole. That electrical movement creates a magnetic field at right angles to that, to that flow. So if the flow is this way, there's a magnetic 